What's up everyone, this is Zod Talkers Tech, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about three iPhone updates. So we just had iOS 14.6 beta released, and on top of that, we just had 14.7 released today. Now, why does this even matter? Well, 14.6 RC was released literally a few days ago, and 14.7 was released today. Now, 14.7 is such an insignificant update when you compare it to the last update, which was 14.6. This is the one with the new Apple Music changes, Apple Card features, and so many other cool features and changes. So what makes 14.7 stand out? Well, this I think is the biggest update with no features. Now, why is that? Hear me out. This update, I believe, has to do with Apple testing out iOS 15 features and making sure the software runs smooth. Now, this video is more of, I guess, a conspiracy, and it's mainly because I saw a really interesting Reddit thread that I want to share with you guys. So, as I updated this iPhone, I went to, you know, the usual profile, and then I made sure it was installed, and then I went to software update, and something I saw that was weird was... It was just located in a weird area, but I was able to install the update like normal. So you can see 14.7 developer beta is installing on this device. But what Apple has done in the past is they will put features of the new next big update on iOS versions that they're releasing as test subjects to see if it runs stable on the newer releases. So that way when the beta officially releases when WWDC is announced, all the new devices can get that software. So that's what this Reddit thread covers. And it's actually been seen that people who have jailbroken their iPhones on beta software have actually been able to uncover features and changes that could be coming in potential updates. This is something that happened last year. So it's very interesting that Apple releases a whole new series of software right after a beta release. So this is like a beta to a beta. This is the weirdest thing. And this update actually took a while to install and has no new features and changes, but it was a pretty big update date when installing. So something interesting to think about, this could just be Apple paving the way for iOS 15. And that is what I believe is going on with this update. So thank you so much for watching. And as always, peace.